Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this using vectors problem, they want us to take these two vectors that they're given, A and B, and they want us to draw vector C so that all three of them added together will end up with zero. A lot of times students get confused with this because it's different than you're used to doing it. So using numbers, it's usually pretty straightforward to see what it needs to be so that we end up with zero at the end. So let's show you an example of that to show you what I mean. So let's say that A is one, B is two, and we don't know what C is, but we want it to equal zero. So if we did the equation, we would have three plus C equals zero. And so in this case, we would say, well, if we minus three, we know that C has to be negative three. So we're doing the exact same thing with the vectors. So if we draw the vectors, let's first just add A and B. So A and B, if we add them, A will come up like this. We'll slide the tail of B to the tip of A. So like that. So here's B. And now for C, if we were only adding those two, would be just like that, right? We did the, the first two problems in this chapter, we're doing that exact thing. But we want this all to be zero. So just like right here, A and B, to get it all to be zero, we needed C to be the negative of what A and B add up to. So another way of saying that is if you add A and B together, C has to be the negative value of a and b together. So using vectors, we'll just flip it. So to add these all together, now we'll end up with a and b will be the exact same that we just did. And then b down here, only now c needs to be the opposite. So this is what the picture will look like for a plus b plus c to equal zero. The resultant, if you add all of these vectors together, will be zero.